Jerry the King Lawler starting things off tonight with a timeless old school style that hits as hard as you can imagine. Lawler is so crafty and he has absolutely no shame. He'll win at any cost unless he's wrestling you, Michael. It's true. His only documented weakness is, well, it's me at WrestleMania. And we know Batista is powerful, but can that power last for the duration of the match? Batista's an insane specimen, Saxton. An altered beast who is as ferocious as ever. I would never bet against the animal's capabilities. And another counter. Boom, what a forearm. Left by the turnbuckles. Wicked clothesline. And a quick pin attempt. And an early kick out. Clearly not enough damage done. And an inverted atomic drop. With reversal. Now that'll do some serious damage. Power is the cornerstone of Batista's entering ability. That's obvious. What's something that isn't so obvious about Batista? His pure athleticism, Cole. Batista may have a bodybuilder's physique, but he couldn't be the superstar he is without serious conditioning and stamina. Just another trait that makes him so fierce. All uh, right, King fights back. He deflects it right back. Vicious right forearm. Locks in the gut wrench. Suplex. Oh, my Look at goodness. This. From the ground up. Superstars can perform with such ease. And Batista gets warded off. Series of reversals. That was an effective attack, guys. The end goes into the pin. Two. Kick out just in time. He really thought that was it. Lawler now falling to a charge of offense. See, Batista's using that conditioning and stamina to turn this match in his favor. Batista avoids impact. That there showed as massive as Batista is, he's not impenetrable. Yeah, that crafty Memphis style from Lala paid off.